guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters for your basic Sorgonomics. How you doing, guys? Sorgatron.com is where the thing is. You can sign up for the newsletter. We got some free stuff over there. If you do that, I would appreciate it. PsychicMediaServices.com is a site where you can see a lot of stuff that we work on and maybe we can help you out too. But uh, today I want to talk about backups. It's a new year resolutions time. And uh, it's time to consider the way you do things, and I'm doing a lot of it. You heard on yesterday's episode about the things I'm considering and the things I'm doing here uh, to try to get things uh, just just more efficient, you know, uh, in, in, in everything. Like, you know, not juggling the periscope that keeps falling over off camera over here, for instance. Uh, but, uh, you know, I... I I'm big on backups. I, I, I don't think I need to update too much as far as my backup situation here. Uh, I did get a recommendation. Somebody wanted to talk about the cloud. Okay, I'll put the hands up. The cloud uh, uh, on the show. Uh, so I thought, I think I've touched on this before, but I think uh, generally I think it'd be good to kind of discuss um, that backup thing. Uh, are you, if, you're, if your computer dies tomorrow, did you just lose something important? Did you lose tax documents? Did you lose your business information? Did you lose pictures of, 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 of Jimmy? Um, old Jimmy? You know, do, is there a plan for that? And I think in the, in, in, in the most, for the most part, most don't have a plan for that. They have their laptop. It's a thing. And, and like, oh, I lost my pictures. You know, oh, well, what 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 do you expect? I don't know. People don't realize just, you know, computers die, right? And you know if you want to recover that thing, depending on what happened with it, it could cost you a lot, a lot, a lot of money. Uh, and that's where you need to kind of protect yourself. Now I have a, you know, a little bit of situation where, you know, I, I'm putting a lot of my stuff, a lot of my projects specifically, I bought something called a Drobo, uh, which is a nice box that starts at like 250, $350. And I put like bare hard drives in it and, and it takes all that and puts it across all the hard drives. And that way, if one of the drives fail, then I didn't lose all the information. I just go buy a new hard drive and we're back in business, right? And then there's other situations where if you're on the Mac, for instance, there's something called Time Machine. That's uh, you put you plug in a whole other hard drive and let it back up your important things to that. And again, a good way to do that. And as long as you're not doing video and large pictures like I do, for instance, uh, but for the general use, that's just fine. If you have something that's going to plug into a hard drive all the time, like a desktop or you plug everything in when you sit down into your desk with a laptop or something like there has to be some kind of routine to that there can't be if you have a thing where i have to make sure i sit down plug in and drive and push a button that says backup once a week once a day once a month you are probably going to fail and 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 at the wrong time and and you need something foolproof as far as that goes with a lot of other things when we're sending our intentions and our updates uh so one big thing that i i recommend to everybody uh, right off the bat, it's five bucks a month. So I think it's most affordable to anybody. Uh, and it's unlimited. You don't have to worry about, oh, how many drives am I backing up? It's backblaze.com. Um, I should disclaim a a distant in-law works for Backblaze. And I discovered that in the last year. Um, and the distant in-law I never knew I had when we visited San Francisco uh, last year and some family out there. Uh, but uh, I've been using it for ever like forever it seems and it's the thing that i i put on the on my uh, office computer that's hooked up to all the backup hard drives and i have terabytes of information out there now that's ridiculous it takes it, it will take you months to get that stuff up there uh, but if you just have a computer with stuff on it and you're like if anything happens to this computer i just really like to get the stuff back uh just put that on your computer pay the five bucks a month and you don't have to worry about much of anything it should upload all the stuff important on your computer and it's actually smart enough that it's not going to upload like your operating system or anything like that that you're going to be reinstalling anyways and you can go out and and download those files if you need them or if it's if you need a lot of information it, it's up in the, the hundred dollar range but they could send you a hard drive or a thumb drive with that stuff in the mail if your internet can't can't, can't handle that right um, then you go to, you know, situations where, uh, I, so my laptop, I don't pay for another backblaze on my laptop. I'm already paying for Google drive. And I think you can interchange one drive from Microsoft. You can interchange Dropbox in here as well, 
or anything, any other cloud service, maybe even Amazon's cloud drive or iCloud, maybe a little bit as well. If it fits your, uh, if it fits your use case and it works for you and you're on the right platform, but any of these, and the way I use Google drive, again, it's interchangeable. Um, that's where the important files go. So the laptop I have, I, I had to skimp on the hard drive, only 250 gigabytes. I usually, uh, if I took off all the work files, I usually have about 100 gigabytes free with all the stuff that's on there, um, programs and public games, um, you know, whatever else is in there. So anything I work on is in the Google Drive. If anything is outside of the Google Drive, that thing will die with the computer if that happens. Um, that and, and then that's something you you can kind of work with from program to program and say, I want to download these folders only. So if there's a project I'm working on, let's say I'm working on Sawtooth Willy, for instance. I click on the um, folder for Sawtooth Willy, it's downloaded, or maybe I captured it to this and, and I unchecked it because I need a room and it just brings it back, you know, just set it overnight and set it for a few hours, it downloads all those files, I'm good to go. It's up there. And also what's happening is I have that Google Drive, Dropbox, etc., on that main computer I have upstairs. So if you have a couple of work computers of some sort or a couple of computers where you just do stuff on or, or on your iPad or something, those files are now accessible if you set up for all those files to just automatically download on any of those computers. So it used to be I was at a point where I put a file on in my Google Drive folder and automatically, because I used to sync them into everything in the studio. So I'll put this picture of, uh, of a pro wrestler in, in my drive, Google Drive on my folder on my laptop. And then within uh, minutes, seconds, whatever the case may be, it would be on five different computers. Ready, accessible, good to go. That's one way to do it. Um, and that way it keeps things backed up. And uh, I pay 10 bucks a month to get a terabyte of data. If you happen to have Microsoft Office, I think you get even more. I think they might have toned that down a little bit now with OneDrive. And there's all kinds of different prices and options. You find the one, um, you find the ones that you know kind of work for you. So, um, so yeah, that's a that's kind of a big uh, a, a, a way that I do that. And, and why, why do I want to do? Oh, wow, well, my hard my, my hard drive is brand new. This computer I got six months ago, and uh, yeah, I've gotten new hard drives. And within the first week, they fail. I got the new hard drive. I'll put all the important information on this because it's new and nothing's going to go wrong. And I'll get rid of that old, smaller hard drive that's probably going to fail any day now. There's a fail rate on anything you have. You can take a new MacBook out of, the, out, of the, out of the box and it could fail. You can take a new TV out of the box and it could fail. It's just the way this stuff works. And there's a percentage of that. And you never know what's happened to that drive made that junk. So the about at the Walmart where you picked it up from. Or, or, or in the UPS truck, it just hit the wrong way, no matter what padding they had. Or, like I had the other day, it was an older hard drive. I had plugged it in. I was trying to get some stuff off of it. And I came back a little bit later, because I had some files just transferring. And there was this grinding noise. I pick up this external hard drive. It's a USB hard drive. And uh, I shake it. I hear a clank, clank, clank. If you don't know, a hard drive has a disk in it. And not the new ones, these SSDs. Um, which are more flash memory, uh, but the, there's a spinning disk in these hard drives. And that especially, I think, is doomed to failure because it's a, it's, a, it's a physically moving part. And it, 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 whatever happened in there, I'd love to take a part and see exactly what happened, um, but the, the, the disk came off its track or whatever the case may be, and it's just wobbly in there. And while I was doing that, it was probably still attempting to spin because I heard the grinding noise. Whatever data is on that thing is probably unrecoverable unless you have super high-end tools and a lot of money in order to do that. So guard against that. Make sure you have it a couple places in your home. The other thing, if you have it on Backblaze, you have it on Google Drive, and your house burns down, God forbid, um, you know, if, oh, I, had, well, I had it on three drives in my office. Well, your office is gone, dude. Now what? Well, I just download all that stuff. Insurance money will kick in. I'll buy a new MacBook, buy a new Drobo. We're back in business. It's kind of a peace of mind for that kind of thing. Just start early. Get throw backblaze on your kid's college computer or whatever the case may be. 
something like that. Let me know what you think, basic sorgonomics, sorgatron.com. If anything you want me to talk about, hit me up at sorgatron on the Twitters. See you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.